Hello and Happy New Year's again! This is part two of my announcement video for 7daystomod.com and this, is, this video is more geared towards modders themselves. So we're going to go through um, how to create a mod, um, how to do a few other things like that. So uh, first step is you want to have an account. When you sign up, uh, there will be when you first log in, there will be your first get to the site, there will be a sign up login button up here. You fill out a simple, you know, user, the usual user profile thing. It'll send you an email. You get to click it to confirm, etc. Once you're in there, you can go into your my stuff, your my profile, and you can fill out some additional stuff like your YouTube channel if you've got one, a promo video if you've got it, a playlist if you've got it, um, your bio, etc. You can give yourself an avatar. And then what I'll do on this is I randomly pull uh, someone from the list, and they get shown in this. Uh, region over here so we've got uh, news we've got posts these are for the wiki area uh, just the newest ones downloads most liked etc so right now we've got three folks on here so we need more modders and I will be announcing this in the forums as well so hopefully we can get a lot of people to actually start using this this one here pulls uh, randomly th uh, th mods with images pulls three of them and then we'll just kind of cycle through them so it's not scaled quite right yet, and I'll, I'm, I'll get to it. <laughs> uh, functionality first, right? Okay, so the wiki is important. Uh, this is where I want all of us to work together to build a knowledge base of modding things. So right now I've got a few things from Andy's mods and from Mafki. Um, <clears throat> but basically, if you want to post something... All you got to do is click Submit Your Knowledge, uh, pick a category to submit it to, and, oops, I got a little, got a little problem there, and you give it a subject, and then you just start writing. And the post can accept um, uh, co code blocks. What, all you want to do is when you're posted in here, you got some, you know, this is my example, and then you got a spot in here that you want to put some code. Go up here and just pick the pre- and then you can go ahead and put in your uh, something like this, you know, class equals uh, plant growing or something like that. Growing. You know, then you would finish out your stuff. So, anywho, uh, so that's that. Um, so the Mickey, wiki, wiki will go here. We'll start building it up. Uh, information about blocks and items and buffs and whatever you figure out and want to share. It's a good place to good place to do it. And all of these are have comments you can go ahead and edit any of them um that you have submitted um and there's threaded comments so if you see a change on something leave a note about it and uh, we can keep that stuff going uh mods we'll get that back to that in a second modding tools so this is where <coughs> i want to list all kinds of modding tools so if you guys are out there and you're modding you can run across a tool Go ahead and just submit my tool. You put a name, the link, and description, and it'll immediately uh, be available here. Um, actually, maybe you have to refresh the page. I haven't fixed that yet. Um, so, yes. <clears throat> prefabs are coming. Your my stuff, this is where you'll have your mods that you've built. Uh, prefabs create a mod, your profile. Uh, your library, this is all the mods that are in the, that you would basically extract to a config file for yourself. Um, and mods themselves now. We get a mod list. So this shows all the mods that are out there. You can search. Uh, this later on, I'm going to add some more search, search functionality so you can search by keyword. Um, so that'll be coming as well soon. Um, but right now you can sort by author, etc. Uh, mod packs this shows you all the mod packs that are available you can go in here and click add all to my library or view the mods that are part of that mod pack create your own pack um, and then create a mod obviously okay so let's go ahead and um, I'm actually going to go view the mods that are in here so this shows you the mod pack itself and the mods that are there and right now I don't have any uh, because I've been deleting and adding and deleting and adding. I've deleted and added so many millions of times. It's kind of ridiculous. So, uh, let's take a look at this mod. Um, I'm going to edit it rather than make a new one because I basically had, I had deleted everything about it 
like blocks and recipes and all that kind of stuff um, in my testing. So right now it is a clean and it's basically a holder. <laughs> it's got an image so you can upload uh, a link if you've got more description somewhere else. Description, uh, again, this can have text uh, code if you put the pre-code on it. Um, mod video if you got a video about it. Keywords, searchable later on. What version it's uh, have you tested it against? If it's public, so if you're a mod author, you can turn this on and off. And if it's off, then people won't be able to add it into their uh, builds that they do. So if you've got something that needs to come out and go testing or whatever, you can just uncheck it as public until it's correct. Um, so I'm going to do uh, something very quickly. We're going to do a wizard. So this is, uh, I, I'm going to be adding more wizards as I go along. But basically, this, let's, this is a new crop wizard. So this is pretty simple. Let's say I want to add tomatoes. So that's what this mod's about. Tomato. We'll spell it that way. Uh, how many do you want to get when you harvest it? I want to get four tomatoes off of a tomato plant. Um, how many seeds should we get from every food item in the recipe? So I'm going to say we get two seeds from each tomato. That sounds okay. Uh, icon, a custom icon color. Uh, let's go with a red, a reddish kind of color. There we go. That's good enough. So uh, the food. So this is the base value. These are going to be modified. Um, I, I do some just a, you know some quick and dirty adjustments uh, for different versions. So basically this is going to create... Um, a crop, the the tomato itself, the tomato item, it'll create uh, three other items as well. It'll create a boiled, a charred, and a grilled version of the food. Creates the seed, creates all the recipes, all that kind of stuff, all automatically made. So uh, let's just go ahead and give it a 111, and let's say it gives us a little bit of, maybe give it, leave us like 0.5 stamina and 0.25 wellness. Um, what icon to use for it? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just use the uh, rock small, I think is what I'll use for that. And then what is the final growth stage of the plant? So right now what it does is it uses, um, it uses basically the, the kind of chrysanthemum growing uh, stages, the little sprout, the kind of bigger plant, and the final plant, you got to decide where it's going to be a corn piece or whatever. I mean, you could actually have it be, if you wanted to, it could be a Adobe tan block. It really wouldn't matter. Uh, it's just a picture. So, uh, but we're going to use uh, chrysanthemum, which is what I've always used before when I've made t tomatoes manually. So do that. Click generate. Whoop. And just like that, it has built all of the blocks. So we've got um, a tomato, tomato young, a tomato sprout, all automatically set so that the growth stages are there. It goes to the correct one next. Um, and <coughs> it creates the items. So we've got a grilled tomato with all the correct information. It's got the icons, uh, tomato boiled, tomato charred, tomato, tomato seed. Gives you the places blocked, play, you know, basically to plant it. Um, recipes, it builds the tomato seeds, chards, all those recipes it needs for those. Uh, this mod has some a, a buff and an XUI element as well uh, that I already added in there. Basically, all these are for right now are uh, a text field where you can paste in uh, your buffs. Later on, I'm, I will be having uh, builders for all those kind of things. Uh, right now, for example, for... for for recipes, if you want to add a new recipe, you click create new recipe. You can say, give me some, I want to copy from an existing recipe. Um, and then you could do, you could do that. So you just pick from a different recipe that already exists out there, but uh, we'll go here, a new recipe. We're going to call this um, tomato soup. Now you need to add this item as well. So we're going to say you get one tomato soup. Um, it needs a campfire. <coughs> now, again, right now, these are, um, uh, manual, but later on I'll make them a little more detailed. Um, I just need to find some stability <laughs> in stuff, things. Um, so cramp cooking pot, save the recipe, boom. So now we need to add items to it. So we need a, well, tomato's a new one. So tomato is going to be a new item and we need one tomato. So add that to add that. And then we also need some bottled water. So we'll pick some bottled water, and we need one bottle of water. So there we go. Tomato, and actually let's make it two, like that. Save the recipe. 
boom. So now we've got tomato soup. And you can always go back, edit the recipe or the ingredients for any particular um, any particular thing. So, um, oh. Did I? Hmm. I'll have to double check something. See, I, I noticed bugs. Up here at the very top is a report of bug feature. Any place you already have a problem, let me know exactly what went wrong. I right now um, lost tomato when manually creating recipe. I'll have that fixed in a few minutes, but that just so you guys can see how that works. Thanks for letting me know. Well, so now it's in there. Um, did I look at the right one? Yeah, I did look at the right one. Okay. Just want to make sure. Um, and then, so buffs, like I said, right now, buffs are nothing more than um, a code block where you can paste in the your code. And the same thing right now goes for um, blocks and items. These are code blocks. Uh, the only difference being, if you go to create a new block on these, you can actually copy it from an existing block. So let's say we can copy from Adobe Peach. So it's going to create a new version of the block. And if you leave the name, if you, if you leave the name the same, it's going to override the existing one. But if you change a name to like Adobe Peach New, then it'll create a new instance of the block. And all the IDs are automatically maintained. It uh, generates all the IDs on the fly automatically. Uh, the only thing you'll have a you might have an issue with will be in the loot. So loot, <coughs> when you're in loot, um, you can create a new loot object. It'll tell you what ID has been created, and if you are if if you create a new container, so then you'll need to reference that ID manually in your block. Um, so anyway, in here you can see the loot for seeds. So here's our tomato seeds that have been added to the loot. And you can also change up all the loot items in, in that uh, seeds group, for example, or cold food group. So anyway, that is that. So it's pretty straightforward. And then when you're all done, <coughs> you get your mod, um, you know, created. You can go uh, and look at it at any time. Let's go ahead and we'll uh, view the mod. So this tells us it needs one tomato. This is the recipe for it. It needs a tomato, it needs a tomato, tomato, it needs a, it needs a bottle of water. Um, and some of these things are, you know, they're Jason strings or kind of to ignore them. They're just for, for the building on the back end when I build the configuration files, um, and all their buffs and everything there. So, uh, if you like, uh, if you, if, if someone likes your mod, they can give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can add it to your library if you want to. Um, dun, 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 dun. And I think that kind of says it. Oh, if you have modding mod tools, I already mentioned. If you find a new one, click click it. Let me know, and it'll be added to the list. Um, Prefabs, boom, boom, boom. All right. So right now, it's like I said, it's in kind of a rough state. I am going to be adding a lot more functionality. I'm going to be adding more um, wizards. Uh, I think that's going to be a really nice way of adding, you know, things like I, it's so tedious to have to add all the seeds and recipes and all that kind of stuff. And that took, you know two seconds to do it so very easy to make uh crops especially right now so uh i think those will be very easy to have way too many of in the game so anyway for now it's been all the world hope you guys enjoyed that uh let me know these these will all be on the wiki it's the mining wiki itself so you can watch these videos again later on and uh, i really uh look forward to you guys' feedback on this and i will be putting all of my mods in over the next few days so all my mods will be in here as well and i'll keep working on little bugs but i need lots of testers to tell me if it goes wonky so as always make sure that you um uh make a copy of your game when you save it or a copy of your config file when you download a new one so if i have uh, let me do that real fast here let's do that real quick so go to my library we'll build my config Shump download that just to show you that those items are in there now so we go to blocks for example we'll scroll down and there's our tomato sprout our tomato young our tomato and like i said the ids are automatically generated 
Um, I give a little bit of space before between um, the end of the pimps IDs. Oh, see a bug, uh, a bug. I'll get that fixed here really quickly. That was, yeah, I know exactly what happened there. Um, so anyway, the new items in here, all your boiled and charred and tomatoes and tomato seeds, etc. So those are all there. Um, I think that kind of wraps it up. So again, uh, test, test, test. Be careful. There's always a README file as well included that'll have all the mods that you've de included in your in your build, along with instructions on um, how, where to store it, etc. So, all right, actually calling it good. Thanks a lot for watching. It's wrong with the bold. If you guys enjoyed, click that like button. Let me know in the comments here and here, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.